As the world waits to see the outcome of these peace talks in Istanbul, Russia is announcing a strategy change that some see as the most tangible sign yet of progress towards de-escalation in Ukraine. Uh, Russian Defense Ministry made a decision to radically, by a large margin, reduce military activity in the Kyiv and Chernihiv directions. The shift comes as Ukraine lays out a possible framework for a future peace deal. It's asking for legally binding security guarantees and is willing to make some concessions in return. We won't, as required by our Ukrainian constitution, host in our territory foreign military bases and foreign troops, and we won't join military and political blocs. But U.S. officials say they're skeptical of Russia's comments and regard troop movements around Kyiv as a redeployment, not a withdrawal. They're warning of another major offensive in other parts of Ukraine, adding the threat to the country's capital isn't over. Nobody should be fooling ourselves by the Kremlin's now recent claim that it will suddenly just reduce military attacks near Kyiv or any reports that it's going to withdraw all its forces. After speaking with the leaders of France, Germany, Italy and the UK, President Biden underscored their goal to continue punishing Russia for its attacks and double down on their commitment to support Ukraine. The president, too, is wary of Russia's announcement to pull back. We'll see if they follow through. Russia claims it's ready to set up a meeting between Putin and Zelensky once a draft peace agreement between the two sides is in place. In Washington, Madler Rivera, Fox News.